I'm in the Yellow Vichy in France. Oh. And what comes to mind here in Canada when that chapter is written about great Canadian betrayals? Will the public or the private broadcaster be in that book? Not the public broadcaster, no, no, but the private broadcaster is going to be in those books. And the great Canadian betrayals. And they betray us in two ways. They betray us because we have a right and we have a hunger to see ourselves on our own TV set. Yeah. If we do not exist in that atmosphere, that virtual atmosphere of television and entertainment, we run the risk of not being anywhere. So we need it. I've been in shows where people come up and they thank you. They own the show. They thank you and they say thank you for putting Saskatchewan, thank you for putting Toronto on the map. What they mean is they've been given some verification of their own identity. It's terribly important. And I would tell the, the private broadcaster, there's money to be made in them, their desires. <laughs> the other great betrayal, and I won't take up more of your time, because once I get into betrayals, it's a pretty long list. I'm an old, old man now. But the second great betrayal is to our children, to our young. We always talk about the brain drain. Scientists, doctors going south. We never talk about all the talented writers, dancers, actors, singers that are forced to go to the United States of America to make a living. If these broadcasters, the private broadcaster, would step up, we could keep our children at home. We could build an industry here that would give the Americans themselves a real run for their money. We want more Canadian television on our own televisions. More Canadian culture on our televisions. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>